Unfortunately, your dog's been adopted. And I was like, what are you talking about? Adopted by mistake, a Valley woman says her missing dog is in the hands of a new family tonight and a mix up at the Animal Foundation could be to blame. Good evening, everybody. I'm Trisha Keen. Todd has a night off. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live outside the Animal Foundation tonight. And Austin, you've been working to find out exactly how this mix up could have happened. Yeah, Trisha, I sure have. And that dog did not have a chip, but the owner tells me that she cannot wrap her mind around how this could all happen and the fact that her dog is now with a new family tonight. The Animal Foundation here calling this a mistake. Much like her name, Sugar is the sweetest. I rescued her and she rescued me. The gray and white pit bull has been there for Jeannie Zippel in a way no one or no thing could after losing her daughter. She had cervical cancer and um, she passed away but she is the best dog and she has really helped me make it through this time and I cannot be without her. But a few days ago, Sugar went missing while staying at a friend's house. She escaped out of a gate that hadn't been fully closed. And then I went to take dog food over for her and she told me what happened. So I came home right away, called and boom, found her. She saw Sugar on the Animal Foundation's website. Jeannie says she immediately called and set up an appointment for the next day to pick her up. And that time the foundation had renamed Sugar to Hollywood. But when Jeannie went to pick up the dog at the front door, she was told. Unfortunately, your dog's been adopted. And I was like, what are you talking about? Jeannie says there was a lot of back and forth to figure out what happened to Sugar. They don't know who to blame. They couldn't get a hold of this one. That one couldn't get a hold of that one. She says then a supervisor tried to reach the new family that adopted Sugar, but they refused to give her back. You know, I, I'm not going to take a, well, she's adopted. and it, No, I told her I'm not going to take this laying down, lady. I want my dog. The Animal Foundation sent 13 Action News a statement saying in part that they are aware of the mistaken adoption and have been in contact with the dog's original owner and are taking steps to rectify the situation. All right, so the Animal Foundation also says that they have policies and procedures in place to prevent this kind of thing from happening. I also asked the Animal Foundation if there's any chance Jeannie will be able to get her dog back. They tell me it is a possibility. We'll be sure to keep you posted on this one. I'm Austin Carter reporting live tonight at the Animal Foundation for 13 Action News. Yeah, let's hope that happens. Austin, thank you.